this is Rebel Redneck coming right at your front door. So, apparently, from what the left is saying, that if we're conservative, we're Republican, and we love America, we are evil, we are bad, and we should be put down like filthy dogs. When was that okay for them to say that Americans should be put down? I want to know why Nancy Pelosi, these terrorists that are terrorizing this country, why aren't they being brought up on treason charges? Why aren't they being arrested for crimes against the United States? Why aren't public officials saying we've had enough of this shit and saying, look, they want it, we'll play it their way. Go to arms. Take this country back. Hang the damn Democrats by a noose. I don't give a shit. Treason will not be tolerated in this country. It has never been tolerated and it should not be tolerated. If you vote Democrat this year, you are a low life, low down turd, nog, turd nugget. You are the lowest of slime. If you believe the democratic way, the liberal way, the millennial way, the Gen Zer way, the terroristic way, you are nothing. You mean nothing. You matter not to anyone. You agree to this shit and you vote Democrat, your life don't matter. No one lives matter at that point because you are letting a terroristic group win. If you truly are an American, then you know what the consequences are. I'm not begging. I'm not pleading. I'm here to put it in your face. They, listen, listen. I want you to listen to me for one second. One fucking second. They tore apart cities and states. Minneapolis, Michigan, Seattle, and then they got the nerve, the Democrats have the nerve to come and beg Donald Trump and the feds for funding to fix this when Donald Trump said, if you let it get out of hand, we're not going to help you. They let it get out of hand because now oh, they're just rioting, they're just protesting. No, they're a bun bunch of anarchists. They're no better than the KKK. The black militia is the same as the KKK. The only difference that I see is instead of Hell Hitler, it's Hell Nancy. It's Hell Adolf Pelosi. That's the only difference. One has a fist and one has a flat out hand. That's the only difference. There is no difference between what is going on now and what happened hundreds of years ago. The only difference is, is Republicans fought to get you guys free. And now you're going to let the Democrats take that step back? Do you realize defunding the police, doing away with all law, means there is no law to protect your asses either? I don't think you guys are smart enough up here. I know Nancy isn't, and I know Joe Biden isn't. They're both a bunch of fucking morons. But do you not realize when you defund the law that that makes you open game for everyone? Because I don't think you do. But I'll put it like this for you. If police get defunded, you don't have to worry about black militia. You got to worry about all militias. Because we're going to go crazy on your asses. We're going to teach you a lesson that you so severely need to learn. We're going to beat that ass. We're going to end it. Plain and simple. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You all are the racist bigots. Y'all are the racist bigots. 
you're blaming whites for everything, for all your failures. Whites are blaming whites. Whites are blaming blacks. Blacks are blaming whites. It's a vicious circle. It's a democratic ploy because they don't like President Trump. You guys don't like President Trump because he brought in jobs and gave you guys no excuses on why you couldn't work. So you didn't like that because you want to be pampered and you want to have your asses wiped by Nancy Pelosi. You didn't like that, so you threw a fit. This has never been about race. It's been about you want something for nothing. You're a bunch of liberal, democratic crybabies that are pansy, pussy-ass, un-American, domestic terrorist think about that for a minute why would you want to be known as a domestic terrorist oh that's right because you're ignorant and you're stupid and you don't know history and you think this is all fun and games and you go well nobody's stopping us nobody's stopping us the police are too afraid no the police aren't afraid that's why they've been standing up to your dumb asses. It's not racism when a police officer knocks your ass down to the ground and fights with you because you're doing something illegal. It's called justice. What about the girl shaking her bare ass at the cop? What about the girl shaking her bare ass at the cop? Indecent exposure. You talk about wanting justice and laws to suit everyone. You already got them. You're just too retarded to know them. America wake up because in a matter of months we're headed for the most critical election in your life you either are next us or you're against us and if you're against an America that gave you freedoms that take in people all the time when they do it right If you're against us, you perish. If you're next us, you stand up against you stand up with us and fight against tyranny. This is Rebel Redneck. Don't forget, subscribe down below, hit the freedom bell, go visit true-patriots.com, look us up on Confederate Faith on Facebook. Guys, we love you, we support our military, our police. Yes, I'm wearing my patriotic shirt. And remember, you got two choices. You're either next us or against us. You're either next us real Americans or you go against us. Which side you want to be on, folks? Good day.